Hey everyone, my name is Sadat and I'm a medical intern here in India. In the previous video, I talked about the uh, next step one exam that the NMC has uh, announced. And we spoke about all the information that uh, the NMC has given to us. And in this video, we'll just talk a little bit more about it and how they have totally messed up the whole uh, exam system. Yeah, so just a recap for all those who haven't watched that video. Uh, the NMC said that the next step one will be 50% uh, passing. Uh, it will be 60 to 70% of problem solving and analytical type skills questions. 60% uh, of them would be must know topics. And uh, that the question distribution will be uh, medicine, surgery, OBGY, 120 questions each, uh, pediatrics, ENT, and ophthal, 60 questions each. And between each day, there's going to be one rest day. So <clears throat> there's 50% passing and the total questions are 450 questions. So you just need to get 270 qu correct questions to pass. What NMC has actually done is that they just copied, copy pasted the USMLE system and literally just failed at what they've done. USMLE has uh, the steps like step one, step two CK, step two CS. So the step two CK is the clinical knowledge and the step two CS is the clinical skills, which was a practical exam. And what NMC has done is that they've created next step one and next step two. Literally, they've just copied the names as well. And um, step one is essentially going to be a combination of USMLE step one and uh, step two CK. And next step two is going to be like a practical exam like the clinical skills exam and what USMLE is mainly known for is their more clinical conceptual and uh, application type problems and uh, less factual and recall type question which was more like the neat PG question style. So now they're going to change more towards the clinical aspects like the INICT exam but NMC has totally messed up with this change this could have been something so much better than what it has become right now. Everyone is literally abusing NMC and rightfully so because they've totally messed it up, like the timeline and everything. Uh, for an example, like when the USMLE step one was uh, changing from a scoring system to a pass and fail system, they did their announcement two years before. Like they announced it on 12th of February, 2020. Now they're going to change it from uh, the scoring system to pass and fail. And they, in the announcement, they said that they're going to be implementing it from the 1st of Jan 2022. So es essentially two years before they told us that um, it's going to be pass and fail. So you can prepare accordingly. This is what I mean by clarity. Having clarity in the, <clears throat> in your announcements is very much important for uh, students to not feel the anxiety that they're feeling right now. And what NMC did was they announced it last week that the final year students will have uh, next in November. And that is literally like five months away from now. It's beyond crazy. Like you can't even just do such a major change in such a less amount of time. I know they, they had given a notification like two years back saying that next is going to come. And, uh, but they didn't really specify exactly from which batch next is going to be. And even now there's not a lot of clarity for, uh, the current interns who will repeat the exam and for the post interns, they've just written that it will be decided by the NMC, uh, till whenever they want to keep continuing need PG. So at least if you're copying something, just learn how to copy. Announce it two years back at least that you're going to change something. I'm sure if you're someone from the final year, you're probably worried about the next exam. You're worried about if you'll pass or if you'll fail. But to be honest, uh, the, there is only 50% for passing and 60% of the questions are going to be from the must know topics. So you'll definitely pass. And if you know, uh, if you've ever seen a USMLE step one score report, this is the way how they write the pass. So 
I'm just showing NMC that this is how you should write pass in case they need to copy anything more. And yeah, you just need to study well in your uh, final year, third minor. And uh, of course, first, second years have a lot of time to prepare. They know exactly what is going to happen with them. They'll have a lot of uh, previous year questions also. So yeah, you guys need to be a little bit more prepared. But what will happen with the current final year uh, batches is what I feel is that um, maybe you will give next step one and you'll get a, a passing score and you'll just pass. Like many people will be under this category. Then you'll start your internship, you'll learn skills to pass your next step to exam and you'll do that. And then most probably you will take a drop and study again for the next step one to improve your score to get into your um, choice of PG. And so, yeah, this is just some unnecessary process that NMC has created for uh, the current final year students. And honestly, there's no way around it. If they want to implement it, they will implement it. And they just don't care about any of the students. What I'd suggest is that you have your mock exam in uh, like a month. So you can just keep on preparing the way that you've been preparing, whatever, if you're using Marrow, if you're using DAMS, uh, Bhatia, Preplad, or whatever you, you, you've been using, keep on using that. Uh, solve more INICT questions and more clinical-based questions. If you can get UWorld uh, for free, I would say, uh, go ahead and try to solve questions if you can. It will help you practice more of uh, clinical questions rather than just factual questions. And I also have a series of uh, hematology questions that I've put up on YouTube and you can just find the link somewhere above. And yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm trying to prepare a strategy for how you can prepare for next step one since I've already given the USMLE step one and I've passed it. And so hopefully maybe I can come up with some kind of strategy that you can implement in your uh, studying routine and uh, be able to pass it in uh, the next five months. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.